welcome to another Disney reading. Um, if you can see a shadow moving, that's just little wolfy wolfy wolfush. Uh, this is Disney's Pixar Toy Story, The Importance of Being a Toy, which is February 18th. Today, uh, sorry, today, today, Woody and Buzz were trapped at Andy's, nast Andy's nasty neighbour Sid's house, and Buzz had just discovered he wasn't a real space ranger. He was feeling hopeless, but Woody had an idea. He ran to Sid's bedroom window and waved out towards Andy's house. Hey guys! Looking outside from their own window, Andy's toys were surprised to see Woody. The cowboy threw them a string of Christmas lights, an escape line from Sid's bedroom. But the toys still didn't, didn't trust Woody, because he'd pushed Buzz out of Andy's window. He'd only meant to push him behind the desk, so Andy would pay attention to Woody again. But the plan had gone wrong. Buzz refused to come to the window to prove he was okay. So, using Buzz's broken arm, Woody tried to show everything was fine. But the trick made it look like he'd hurt <laughs> Buzz. <laughs> I remember that scene from the film, sorry. Andy's toys dropped the lights and walked away from the window. Woody, f bleh, Woody felt terrible. And when he turned back into Sid's room, things seemed to be getting even worse. Sid's mutant toys had surrounded Buzz. Woody tried to fight them off, but they grabbed Buzz's arm and pushed Woody away. Then, after a moment, the mutant stepped away. Buzz sat up in surprise, flexing his left arm, which was now attached and working perfectly. Sid's mutant toys had fixed his arm. Although they looked scary, it turned out Sid's toys were perfectly friendly. Suddenly, the toys heard Sid racing, Sid racing up the stairs. Everyone scattered except for Buzz, who wouldn't move. He was still sad because he was just a toy. When Sid burst into the room, he strapped a, uh, strapped a rocket onto Buzz's back. Blast off was the next morning. All night, Woody pleaded with Buzz to escape. Over in that house is a kid who thinks you are the greatest. And it's not because you're a space ranger, it's because you're a toy. You are his toy, Woody said. Woody nearly lost hope. But Buzz finally realised Woody was right. Being a toy was important. Buzz ran over to Woody to help the cowboy break free too. But suddenly the alarm clock started ringing from Sid's... Uh, ringing and Sid jumped out of bed. Time for lift off, he yelled, grabbing Buzz and running outside. Woody knew he had to do something fast. As soon as Sid left, Woody gathered the mutant toys and led out a rescue plan. Buzz was a good toy, he explained, and they couldn't let him get blown up. We'll have to break a few rules, he told the mutants, but if it works, it'll help everyone. So if you like that story, click like. If you'd like to see more, click subscribe. And the next one, um, let's have a look, is Hercules Destructoboy. So, uh, see you soon. Bye-bye.